Hi there. This is Christina. And I'm going to show you how I made a potbelly stove for Addie's bedroom. It's not completely put together yet because I wish I had done a step-by-step -step tutorial. Um, I had wanted a stove for a long time and I thought I could make something that would make do the way that Addie and her mother did during the cold winter months with that little potbelly stove in the corner of their room. So I got a heating pad that was wrapped around a thick cardboard tube. Really solid tube. I thought it would make a good body for a potbelly stove. I punched a bunch of holes with an awl and I sanded them and then I covered them with glue so that they would be smooth. They're still a little rough, but I think they look okay. I uh, cut the cardboard to five and a half inches tall. Um, it's a four inch diameter here. I don't know what oatmeal cartons are for the diameter, but they might work just as well. I got PVC pipe, the one inch, the small kind. There is a 15 inch piece here from here the bottom of the stove to the top of the elbow. It needs to go all the way through so that it has stability so it'll stand up and it won't tip over. This piece here is three and a half inches and I drilled a hole in this seven inch oval plaque. I got oval because I wanted to be able to fit the burners on here nicely. And the, uh, the hole was a little big and I had to put some putty in there, but you can put glue or putty, just get it to stand pretty straight. I painted the base and the tubing solid black. I got the Rust-Oleum that sticks to plastic because I wasn't sure what would, if I wanted the tube to come out really smooth looking. And for the body of the stove, I found this fantastic textured metallic from Martha Stewart Living. The color is lamp black, and it just has a wonderful metallic sparkle. It really looks like cast iron. It's just really nice looking. I haven't put this together yet because I have to get some red mylar. You can see through these holes and I think you should be able to see a little red flame or or something. If I had been able to make a little door in the back or something I would have gotten one of those lights that flickers, the, the tea lights that flickers, but I, uh, I didn't really know how to make a little trap door in the back so I'm going to settle for the mylar. Maybe somebody out there can do a trap door and have the light up candles. That would be so pretty. But when I get the mylar and put it in there, I'm just going to glue this to the base and then glue the burners to the top of the stove. Get Addie a little tea kettle or her mother made pancakes on their little stove in their room. So that's a uh, that's the potbelly stove for Addie's room. I'll list the uh, I'll list everything you need, and um, hopefully, some of you out there can make another stove for your Addie. I think it would be good for any of the historical dolls.